Hello, we are back at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2020 and in this vlog we're going to look at something that people have been asking me about a lot and we don't really have them in the UK and that's this and that is demountables. What are they? And let's have a look at one. So one thing people have asked me a lot about on this channel is about demountables. It's something we don't really have in the UK. And it's basically, what they are is, you have a pickup truck, as here, and the, I've got the Isuzu here, and then you have a little sort of body that you put on the top. So it kind of makes a motorhome out of your pickup. It's kind of the best of both worlds of a motorhome and a caravan because you can have one complete unit like a motorhome, you don't have to tow anything, so if you're nervous about towing, it can be an ideal solution. And then of course, unlike a motorhome, you can still leave the cabin on site and then you've still got the use of your pickup and you can leave the cabin there. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So why aren't they more popular? Well, let's have a look at this one. This is a Tisha Trail 260S and we'll talk about how you attach it to the pickup truck, how you leave it, how you hitch it up and all that kind of things. So this is a Trail 260S and it's on the back of an Isuzu D-Max space cab and the cabin with all the bits and pieces that are fitted including sales tax in Germany comes in at just under 40,000 euro so it's a fairly premium product now if you look at the price also of the Isuzu here that is costing you about 40,000 euro again you're looking at a unit that's costing you 80,000 euro you can get a decent motorhome for that but as I said earlier, you do have some flexibility here where you can leave the accommodation behind. So you've got the cycle rack on the back, you have a Dougal on the outside. Dougal comes, is not part of it. And if we look here, so this is set up for being on site. You've got poles that goes, there's a huge pin that goes into the body here. This is ready for the truck almost to be taken away. You would attach a mechanical drill spanner here and that would lift the body once it's been detached and then you would simply drive the pickup out from underneath. Let's go in and have a look at both the accommodation and how it attaches to the pickup. So as we step in you can see it's quite uh, it's quite a good layout actually because you've got a fixed bed here at the front and that's sort of over the cab of the pickup and then as we step back we have a dinette here making this I would guess a three or four berth but of course you can only really well I guess you can sit four at the dinette a little bit squished over to the kitchen and you've got your hob and sink there the cupboards are actually quite small here because you you lose out on the floor space under here lots of USB points they're very on vogue with USBs we've got a couple here And we've got a couple over the kitchen here. And as we turn around towards the back, we have the wardrobe here. Oh, that's the, uh, the shelves. That's quite nice too as you come in. Little place to put your coats. On this side, yep, that's your hanging space three-way Dometic fridge freezer oh and that looks like your Truma combi heater because of course we can't put that under the seats we'll 
see why later. So that means your heating system is actually taking up a cupboard. And then in here we have a wet room with an opportunity for a very quick hello, sorry, and fall down sink. Nah. And the six million dollar question is how do you attach it to the pickup? I'm going to put the camera down, pull apart the dinette and show you. Okay, so I've removed the cushions, I've popped the doodahs, and if we go in here, and so that's the electrical connection to the pickup truck. So here, this is where the, uh, the, the joint so it hooks on here, and that's how you attach the cabin to the pickup. And then you've got another one see it a little bit more clearly here and then of course this is replicated on the other side so that's how you attach the cabin to the pickup now let's go outside and talk a little bit more about the attachment and detachment procedure okay so here we have one that's completely off the truck so we can have a closer look at the system underneath so this is where the jack's gone in and then if we go down these are wooden blocks to protect the uh, the bottom of your tub in your pickup and then these are the plates that those big steel hooks are attached to that attach to the mounting hooks in your pickup and that's the little access hatch that we came in through on the top. So that's what it looks like, folks, on the un underside. Okay, so like I say, this is in a sort of combination here. So it's on its legs. We've also got legs down here. And then what you would do is you wind up the body just a little bit and you reverse the truck back and this is where it gets complicated folks you have to reverse that truck back to be inch perfect to the body and that's going to take a little bit of practice the promotional videos show it to be very easy but of course they, they would so it kind of stands in the base of the the load bed of the tub and then you, of course you would lower it down with the lower it back down onto the uh, the back the rear load bed and attach it using those lashing points we saw inside if we look over at this one that's attached to the Mercedes pickup this is now the leg in its stowage position so that's how you would tow with it uh, they got the rear legs down on this one to uh, stabilize it and there you go so that's basically a demountable. Okay so there you go that's a look at the Tisha demountable system. It's, uh, it's a great system but as you can see it's not cheap. The, the whole rig including the pickup was 80,000 euro so 40 for each. Of course you can go for a better pickup, you can go for a different cabin. Uh, also you've got a small issue that there's not quite as much storage space in one of these as you would find in a car and caravan combination or in a motorhome or a camper van and then finally it's just a bit of a faff to connect it up and detach it it's not for everybody it's going to be easier with two of you because you have to reverse into the demountable absolutely inch perfect before you lower it down onto the body of the pickup so it's not for everybody but the upsides of course is it's more flexible than a motorhome and of course you're not having to tow like you're towing a caravan so you can go maybe a little bit more adventurous with it than you would a towed caravan so there you have it i hope you enjoyed that little look at something a bit different today a tisha demountable 
As ever, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. It just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. Do you think we should get one, Dougal? Do you think we should get a demountable? Do you? Do you want a demountable? Yes? Oh, oh, yes. You might not smile, but you kiss as well.